Welcome to the Tales from New York. I'll be your narrator for this particular story. I do hope you enjoy it. New York, the city that never sleeps. The iconic attractions, luscious hotels and tasty food continue to make the city a major tourist hotspot. In 2016 alone, over 60 million tourists visited the city, breaking the record set the year before. How I see those figures are that 60 million stories were created in that city last year and many more will be created for years to come. So since everyone's experience will differ from each other's, why not share that by creating stories for the people based on their own experiences in New York? That is why I've come up with an app that does exactly that. My name is Dwayne Turner and I am the creator of the app called Tales from New York. So what is the app about? Tales from New York is a unique location-based app that is fully functional and does not use any external links. Its primary objective is to allow its users to listen to fictional stories from around New York by exploring the city themselves, hence the name. There will be a wide range of genres available to the consumers, such as romance and comedy to action and sci-fi. In addition to the stories, the app will also have important information on every location and landmark located on the map provided. Through extensive research, I did find an app that follows a similar concept to my own. Bandstand was another location-based app made back in 2013 by developers Calvium. They also give their consumers an audio theatre experience through geocaching. However, their focus was on the theme of abandoned bandstands. Now discontinued, Bandstand only amassed around 100 downloads despite being a free app. It may be a low number, but it was clear to see that money was not the incentive for their idea. And in that regard, neither will tell us from New York. The reason I decided to create an app like this one was because I wanted to give the world of tourism another dimension to it, rather than what we are used to seeing, one that has never been done before. So how does the app work? So once you download the app and agree to the terms and conditions, the menu screen will appear with three options. Login, sign up and stories. Both stories and login will only be available to you after you have discovered your first landmark and story. So until then, sign up to the app. Once you have done that, the map will pop up with the locations marked on them. The map provided uses GPS so it tracks your progress and knows which direction you are heading in. Once you reach the location marked on the map, tap the icon on the location and a brief description of the landmark will pop up, with the option to listen to the story accompanying it. Now don't worry if you don't want to listen to the story straight away. Pressing node does not get rid of the story, but rather saves the story for when you are ready for it, hence the story's option on the menu page. If you do press yes, then the narrator will begin to tell you a story relating to that landmark. You are also able to pause, skip forward and rewind stories giving you full control over how you listen to it. Her silky smooth blonde hair blew in the wind as she strolled through Central Park. No one could have prepared themselves for what they discovered hidden under the World Trade Center. The memories of his lost loved one was too much to handle as he stood crying over the 9-11 memorial. Who is he at for? Well, that's the thing. Originally, Tales from New York was designed for tourists visiting the city of New York as the app already explodes what tourists do, sightsee. However, reflecting upon the concept of the idea, I realised that it doesn't have to be. New York City is the most populated city in all of America, with its last census recording at around 8.6 million people. The save function on the app means that you don't even need to be sightseeing to enjoy the stories once they are unlocked. This means that the stories collected in New York can be taken anywhere and everywhere for your leisure and enjoyment. At the end of the day, we all love a good story. I just want to make sure that there are as many people to hear my story as possible. The prototype for the app contains five landmark locations and stories to accompany them. However, if met with a great reception from consumers, then I have plans to expand the app indefinitely, as well as increasing the amount of landmarks available to access on our app. I also have thought about creating an app like this in other cities across the world that attract many tourists as well, such as London, Paris and Berlin among others. But at that point, I may have to consider putting a price on the app to make it possible. I felt that New York would be a great starting point to test the app since it attracts so many tourists 
and as such I could come to a conclusion fairly quickly whether or not Tales from New York would be a success. But enough about potential ventures into the future. I can't wait to tell everyone about a version of New York they never knew even existed. Tales from New York, turning experiences into adventures, coming soon to both iOS and Google Play.